Good evening everyone, time for another member update. So we're going to do a lunar review here, uh, review the lunar series because that's been my favorite silver series and the question going forward is, is it still my favorite? Is it worth it? Uh, is it paying off? Is the strategy paying off? And so we'll try to answer those. Also, uh, what are the prospects for flipping the coins and maybe getting cheaper ones and continuing that process? So, but we're gonna, before we do that, we're going to start out with consult, compare silver prices. Now, the first thing that we always look for on compare silver prices is the spot price, or the, I'm sorry, the um, junk silver bag price versus spot and then the 90 percent bags that's the most common junk silver uh there's some other ones but primarily those are the the main ones that people buy so you can see here that we've got uh the best price is 5.45 percent above spot that's pretty good that's uh that's better than we were when we had the crisis. We, we had a crisis a couple of times where we had uh, suppliers didn't have any. And you can see this goes across the board here. It's pretty wild. The, the percentage is as high as 32% above spot for eBay. Um, but then uh, JM Bullion is 10% above spot. Silver.com is 10% uh, above spot. And then there's this 5.45. So that's fairly close to a healthy scrap market where um, they can buy the junk silver in the coin shops close to near or under spot, a turnaround, and sell it to the refiners. Now, in the past, I talked about the fact that if the price of 90% junk is significantly higher than spot then obviously that's not going to be recycled it's going to go to um, investors and it's going to just the people who go into the coin stores and sell it or the coin stores are just going to turn around and sell it to one of these places that sells it to people in bags because they can make more money that way but it definitely does not imply tightness now these other premiums, the, the one that really stands out here is going to be the premium on the Sil Silver Eagle series. And you can see that the best deal is 15%, but the bulk of them are around 20%. And when you're talking about 20%, when you've got a $19, roughly $19 silver price, then you're talking about almost a $4 premium. So you're talking about almost $23, maybe $22 to $23 for a one ounce coin. And when you're talking about that, that definitely, in my opinion, and we'll see if that uh, is uh, supported going forward when we look at uh, the prices on eBay, but that uh, argues for trying to do a semi-numismatic play because uh, a semi-numismatic play is around in that range if you find a good deal, uh, $4 above spot. Why would you pay that for a Silver Eagle? Now, admittedly, there are some years on the Silver Eagle that have been rare, and there have been some mint strike error coins, uh, but, I mean, your chances of getting an error coin are the same with any other coin, so that's, that's not really a bonus. So except for maybe hoping to get a rare date, there's just no real distinction in the Silver Eagle coin. So I cannot see why anybody would want to pay a $4 premium or almost a $4 premium for a Silver Eagle when you can get Perth Lunar Series. So uh, just to, before we go over there, let's look at the, the Maple Leaf. You can see the Maple Leaf is coming in about 10% uh, is the best deal and then 15% pretty much across the board. Uh, same thing with the Philharmonic. The really cheap bullion coin, of course, is going to be the uh, the Buffalo coin, and you can get that for uh, just five percent above spot. So, pretty much the same you can get junk silver for. Uh, that's a pretty good deal. I would probably be tempted to get junk silver rather than the Buffalo series. I have some of them. I just don't like it that well, and. Uh, you know it's okay it's okay for what it is so let's get over to the Perth Mint and we're gonna go through these are my uh, sites you know I always check and uh, the, I've actually got them in the order of how much I've bought from them so I have definitely bought the most from Atmex second is Gainesville uh, that was uh, bought a lot of the stuff in the past in Gainesville not a lot recently 
uh, and then Provident Metals, I bought some from them, and JM Bullion, I bought a little bit from them. So these are the four that I check, and by the way, if anybody has any suggestions on uh, a site that I'm missing that has Lunars, and excluding Australian sites, because the bulk of the listeners are in the United States and doing the currency conversion, the shipping overseas is just too much of a nightmare. So if, if there are some sites that I'm missing that have these Lunar Series, uh, go ahead and point them out. Now, on Atmex here, we're just going to kind of do a review of what's available. First thing you notice here is the colorized coins, or there's a lot of them. I don't like colorized coins, and I think that most silver investors don't like colorized coins. It, there's just something about it that kind of goes against silver. I, I can't really explain it. It's just kind of a purist view, but you don't want color on your silver. That's most people. I found, I, I'm not going to do the analysis tonight, but I have found that the colorized coins do not maintain premiums going forward, as do the just the regular lunars so you can see the cheapest coin and by the way I've ranked all of these by cheapest to most expensive just to see what deals are out there so you can see we can get the half ounce current year the lunar rooster for 1350 that comes to a twenty seven dollar an ounce silver price so that's a significant premium that's not a very good deal uh, if you're gonna try to compete with that four dollar or so premium that's on the eagle so that one's probably not going to be uh, of interest. You can see the Lunar Monkey here is at 1930. Again, the the prices asked on Atmex are not what you can get for your coin necessarily. That's what Atmex thinks they can get for the coin, but it is informative that they think that they're willing to ask that amount of money. Uh, obviously, if they didn't think they could get that amount of money, they wouldn't ask it. So they believe that people will pay that. So that's uh, Pretty good appreciation for that last year half ounce coin there. Uh, skipping the coloreds, we've got the half ounce goat. That's surprising that uh, they're trying to get that much for that. We're going to see some on eBay, I, I believe. Um, here's the half ounce dragon, and I think I picked mine up for around 12, so we'll see if that holds up on eBay. Nice appreciation there. The snake coming in higher and that's surprising and then here's your next one ounce coin the monkey and that's going to be 2862 uh we'll see if any of the two ounce that's we're just into too expensive now for uh anything else uh you can see the half ounce horse is actually the best performer that was a surprise uh that's a surprise to me i did buy a ton of those because uh, uh the one ounce was too expensive and the half ounces were cheap and it's such a beautiful coin it's still one of my favorites uh, if not my favorite the tiger I really like a lot but uh, so you can see there's the one ounce horse down there they want 53 bucks for that and uh, the, here's the one ounce lion privy they want 41 for that and uh, don't see any two ounce I guess here's the first two ounce the two ounce rooster is coming in at 52 bucks so we're talking $26 an ounce. That's a little pricey, but uh, it's not that bad. Most of my two ounces I bought in the 40 range. So as prices are creeping up a little bit on silver, we'd expect those to go up, but that's a little too high for me. So not a lot there. Let's jump on over to Gainesville coins. The first one is the half ounce uh, Lunar again, a little bit cheaper at $13.32. Uh, the monkey coming in there at the half ounce and then these colorized here is the one ounce silver rooster lion privy and uh, I, I found that the privies can hold up as good as the coin sometimes they don't sometimes they uh, actually do better so it's kind of a wash there but that's a pretty good deal 2461 for the 2017 silver rooster lion privy uh, that that seems to be a pretty good deal. Uh, some more colorized. Here's uh, one ounce up at $28 and another one ounce at $33. Just too much. Here's the two ounce. Now that's a pretty good deal there. There's the two ounce silver rooster for $48. Bucks. So that's $24 an ounce. That's five, a little bit over five above spot. That's close to competitive to what you're talking about with those silver eagles. So 
the two ounce coming in at 24 bucks an ounce and this one ounce coming in at 24 bucks those are two that I like I think those are uh, something that I would buy I'm not buying right now but if I were I would buy those two so let's move on to Provident uh, we've got the again we've got the rooster here we've got the the half ounce goat a little bit cheaper at 1431 that's pretty good for a 2015 coin but I think we're going to see them even cheaper on eBay uh, here is the monkey at close to that same price and here we have a half ounce snake again very expensive uh, these are out of stock they're trying to get 30 bucks 31 bucks for the one ounce rooster good luck with that uh, maybe they will because the other one was uh, Lion Privy and here's some one ounces uh, the rest of them are really expensive here uh, the two ounce is out of stock and there isn't really anything else that stands out here's a two ounce uh, goat that you can get for 53 bucks uh, what is that about 2650 an ounce that's not bad for a coin that's a couple years old but you'd have to expect that to appreciate Wow, here's a half ounce tiger here. They're trying to get 64 bucks for that. Amazing. I have some. I wish I had more. I have a lot of the one ounce. I don't have that many of the half ounce. I wish I would have bought a ton of those. Uh, so nothing really standing out there on Provident Metals. And then last of all, be JM Bullion. You can see here that, uh, again, we start out with the half ounce rooster and a half ounce monkey is a little spendy and then we jump right up to the silver goat for 32 bucks and then we've got a silver monkey of 32 bucks so nothing really in the half ounce except for just the the current year uh, nothing really in the one ounce uh, below thirty dollars so that's uh, kind of a a fail there for uh, JM Bullion and then we come down here we can get the two ounce rooster for 48 bucks pretty good that's uh, 24 bucks an ounce so this is going to be by pick over here at JM Bullion uh, you can pick up the two ounce rooster for basically 24 24.40 an ounce that's pretty competitive when you think about the potential appreciation now I'm going to say that my favorite for appreciation is going to be the half ounce simply because it's more coins and the more coins you have I believe the better chance you have for appreciation next favorite obviously is the one ounce but again because of the fact that the one ounce for many many years had an outrageous premium on it right out of the gate I had avoided those and started moving to the half ounce and two ounce so the half ounce is my favorite the one ounce is second and the two ounce comes in third so let's go over here to eBay um, I don't have it set to the way it used to search they've kind of tweaked these categories but basically the way you read this is that if it's in green that means it's sold for that price a lot of these aren't auctions but they're buy it now prices if someone made a best offer they'll cross out the price that's there it the price that it went for is probably pretty close to what is in the green but it will be crossed out so what we're looking for here is any of these lunars that have sold you can see that I did a search for Perth mint one ounce lunar I should probably do lunar silver but uh, this one does pretty good so what we're looking for is coins that have sold and oh by the way I've ordered this price highest first because I'm trying to uh, pick up any boxes or roll sales so we don't get a lot here mostly gold when we first come down more gold coins and here's the first one that's a lot you can see that this is a, this one hasn't sold because it's in black but here's one that has sold this is a lot of uh, 100 five uh, five rolls of uh, the lunar half ounce goat and you can see that's thirteen dollars so that's that's an incredible deal um, now that's not uh, encouraging for people who bought that and I have a few I think I have a box or two 
who are thinking that that one would appreciate. Certainly, that's not an indication of it appreciating, but if you want to get a good deal thinking it will appreciate, uh, $13.30 a coin for those. And here's another box, $12 a coin, and another box, $12.20. So you can get good deals. You can see you're paying $15 shipping. So, you know, that's going to be an extra uh, 15 cents or something like that. Uh, correct my math. But uh, it's not a lot. And that's extra 15 cents a coin. Uh, so you're talking $12.15 to your doorstep. That's an incredible deal. Now here's a roll of the Lunar Tigers. Very interesting here because they sold a roll and you can see that it went for 1100 So that's 20 coins for $1,100. That's $55 a coin. And this is someone bought a roll. Uh, so definitely the Tiger is performing at $55 a coin. That confirms what we saw in Atmex. Here's another roll of Lunars. They were asking for 1060 for the roll but the best offer was accepted, so we don't know. But it was probably pretty close to that price. And continuing on, here's a roll of goats, but uh, it's the one ounce, but it, it hasn't sold, so we don't really get any information from that. Now here's some rolls of the one ounce rooster and you can see here's a roll of 20, so we're talking about 23 bucks now, if you remember, that coin that we saw for 24 bucks was a rooster with a lion privy. So if you want to come and pick up uh, one ounce roosters, you can get them here for 23 bucks. This is Bullion Exchange. Um, I'm not sure who they are, but you can see there's one, two rolls that have sold. There's three rolls that have sold. So we're seeing some good deals on eBay. Uh, here's more roosters. It seems that there's quite a few available. And I think that's pretty much going to be it for the rolls. Now we're just, uh, from here on out, we're going to be looking at just really expensive coins and uh, maybe some gold. Here's a couple of uh, half ounce dragon rolls uh, that sold. And as I said, the half ounce is my favorite. So here's a good uh, bit of information for appreciation. This is the half ounce dragon. I told you I think I got mine for twelve or thirteen dollars a piece, and I bought I've got boxes and boxes of those. And you can see here they sold for seventeen dollars a coin. They sold the whole roll. So here's another one that sold seventeen dollars a coin. Uh, Five dollars above what you paid for them. Um, we're talking thirty four dollars an ounce. People are paying thirty four dollars an ounce for this silver. Uh, does that confirm the strategy? Um, probably. Uh, here's 20 half ounce and, uh, of the dragons. Again, same thing. And I think that's pretty much it. So what's the conclusion? Well, the first conclusion is that uh, the recommendations of the best buys were those uh, two ounce, uh, the two ounce roosters over there at uh, where was it I think it was was it JM I don't remember <laughs> after review it. Uh, I've gone through so many here and uh, I think Gainesville uh, so what do we get from this uh, is the strategy effective is it worth buying semi numies and trying to profit in that way and ultimately is it going to be worth it to flip them Right now, now I have never sold any of my coins. I've sold some Silver Eagles at one point, and I sold some junk. But as far as any of the Perth Lunars, I've never sold any. But uh, if I were, I would be tempted to sell my Tigers to try to flip silver. So the first question I have for uh, the listeners is, has anybody done that successfully, gone to eBay, and flipped expensive silver, say sold off their Lunar Tigers for $55 an ounce, turned around and bought uh, twice as many Lunars for say uh, $24, $25 an ounce and, and tried to do the same thing again. Has anybody done that and uh, s successfully? 
and then also what are your experiences on eBay is it is it a way that you can sell your silver uh, is it safe like I said I haven't done it uh, I'm not really looking to do it but I'm kind of thinking about it uh, it would be interesting to do and uh, be able to accumulate more silver uh, get it cheaper and uh, kind of lock in a profit uh, on existing silver kind of lock in that profit by getting more silver so that's the review um, tell me what you think and uh, give me feedback going forward and we'll talk to you next time